Which of the following is not an acceptable method of thawing frozen foods? A. Refrigerating them. B. Placing them in hot water. C. Using a microwave oven followed by continuous cooking. D. Placing them under cold running water. Answer B. Placing them in hot water. What is cross contamination in food safety? A. Cooking foods at incorrect temperatures. B. When bacteria from a raw food get into a cooked or ready to eat food. C. Storing cooked food for too long. D. Using salt to preserve foods. Answer B. When bacteria from a raw food get into a cooked or ready to eat food. To what internal temperature should poultry, stuffed meat, and stuffing be cooked? A. 158 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 145 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer. D. 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Ground meat and foods containing ground meat should be cooked to an internal temperature of a. 145 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 158 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 165 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer. B. 158 degrees Fahrenheit. What must be provided in all culinary and pot slash dishwashing sinks? A. Air brakes. B. Hot holding units. C. Rapid chill units. D. Disposable glove storage. Answer. A. Air brakes. How often should disposable gloves be changed when working with food to ensure safety? A. After every five hours. B. Only when they are visibly dirty. C. After handling raw meat. D. Often to prevent contamination of food. Answer. D. Often to prevent contamination of food. At what minimum temperature should raw shell eggs be cooked? A. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 145 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 150 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer. B. 145 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the minimum internal temperature to which pork should be cooked? A. 150 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 158 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 165 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer. A. 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Which of the following must be cooked to a minimum internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit? A. Pork. B. Ground meat. C. Poultry. D. Fish, shellfish, beef, lamb, and all other meats. Answer. D. Fish, shellfish, beef, lamb, and all other meats. When handling ready-to-eat foods, which of the following is not recommended? A. Using tongs. B. Wearing a clean and sanitary pair of gloves. C. Using bare hands. D. Using a spatula. Answer. C. Using bare hands. Which of the following methods should not be used to reheat previously cooked and refrigerated foods that will be served from a hot holding unit? A. Using a rapid chill unit. B. Using a stove. C. Using an oven. D. Using a hot holding unit. Answer. D. Using a hot holding unit. At what temperature should hot foods be covered when placed in a refrigerator for cooling? A. After reaching 50 degrees Fahrenheit. B. As soon as they are put into the refrigerator. C. After they have completely cooled to 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. D. After reaching 45 degrees Fahrenheit.
Answer, C, after they have completely cooled to 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Which of the following is not an effective way to rapidly cool foods? A. Pouring food 5 inches deep into 2 inch deep cooling pans. B. Immersing food in an ice water bath and stirring occasionally. C. Using a rapid chill unit. D. Cutting solid foods into smaller pieces, pieces of 6 pounds or less. Answer A. Pouring food 5 inches deep into 2 inch deep cooling pans. What is the minimum temperature at which hot foods stored in a hot holding unit must be held? A. 130 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 150 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer, D. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. In which of the following equipment is it necessary to install atmospheric vacuum breakers, AVB, due to a direct connection with a potable water supply? A. Ice machines. B. Ovens. C. Toasters. D. Blenders. Answer, A. Ice machines. Which device is essential for preventing cross-connection in plumbing systems? A. Grease interceptor. B. Air brake. C. Hose bib vacuum breaker. D. Gas-fired hot water heater. Answer. C. Hose bib vacuum breaker. Who is qualified to install gas-fired hot water heaters? A. Any homeowner. B. A trained chef. C. A licensed plumber. D. An electrician. Answer. C. A licensed plumber. Which statement about grease disposal is accurate according to New York City laws? A. Grease can be dumped in any sink. B. Grease must be dumped only in sinks with a proper grease interceptor. C. Grease can be dumped in the garden. D. Grease disposal is unrestricted. Answer. B. Grease must be dumped only in sinks with a proper grease interceptor. What is the correct sequence to wash dishes by hand? A. Rinse, wash, sanitize, air dry. B. Wash, air dry, rinse, sanitize. C. Wash, rinse, sanitize, air dry. D. Sanitize, rinse, wash, air dry. Answer. C. Wash, rinse, sanitize, air dry. For how long must utensils be immersed in 170 degrees Fahrenheit water to hot water sanitize? A. 10 seconds. B. 1 minute. C. 15 seconds. D. 30 seconds. Answer, D, 30 seconds. How should one prepare a 50 ppm chlorine-based sanitizing solution? A, add 1 ounce of bleach to 1 gallon of water. B, add half an ounce of bleach to 1 gallon of water. C, add 2 ounces of bleach to 1 gallon of water. D, add 1 quarter ounce of bleach to 1 gallon of water. Answer, B. Add half an ounce of bleach to one gallon of water. How long should utensils be immersed in a 50 ppm sanitizing solution? A. 30 seconds. B. 10 seconds. C. 1 minute. D. 2 minutes. Answer, C. 1 minute. To prepare a 100 ppm chlorine-based sanitizing solution, how much bleach should be added to 1 gallon of water? A. 2 ounces. B. 1 ounce. C. Half an ounce. D. 1 quarter ounce. Answer. B. 1 ounce. For which of the following tasks is a 100 ppm sanitizing solution typically used? A. Immersing utensils for an extended period. B. Cooking and boiling. C. Wiping, spraying or pouring. 
D. Refrigeration. Answer. C. Wiping, spraying, or pouring. How should wiping cloths be stored to maintain sanitation? A. In dry conditions. B. In a 100 ppm sanitizing solution. C. In a 50 ppm sanitizing solution. D. In soap and water. Answer. C. In a 50 ppm sanitizing solution. In a food establishment, bathrooms for patrons must be provided when there are how many seats in the dining area? A. 10 or more. B. 15 or more. C. 20 or more. D. 25 or more. Answer. C. 20 or more. Which of the following is not a strategy of integrated pest management? A. Starve them. B. Build them a shelter. C. Build them out. D. Destroy them. Answer. B. Build them a shelter. What will mice do if food becomes unavailable in a restaurant they've infested? A. They will hibernate. B. They will move out. C. They will start eating each other. D. They will go deeper into the building. Answer. B. They will move out. What is the smallest opening size through which rats are known to enter buildings? A. Size of a dime. B. Size of a nickel. C. Size of a penny. D. Size of a quarter. Answer. D. Size of a quarter. How is the presence of fresh rat droppings in a food establishment classified? A. A minor violation. B. A non-critical violation. C. A critical violation. D. An acceptable condition. Answer. C. A critical violation.